And turning now to a story about something else that goes up and down, elevators. How's that for a segue? It's almost as if Emily Lampa wrote that segue. Oh, it's because it's very nice. That's yes. why. Very I well I could never written. do that well. Okay. Well, thank you so much, David. Elevators, yes. They're everywhere. And we kind of take them for granted, right? Sure. Unless, of course, they break down. And right. then you have to... Figure it, it out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Hoof it up those stairs. Well, in this week's On the Job Report, 47 ABC's Michelle McConaughey, she shows us what goes into making and installing them. Delaware Elevator not only provides services all around the country, but worldwide. But as we get a look inside, President Charles Meeks Jr. says it all started right here on Delmarva. Meeks says his grandfather started the business in the Wilmington area. Not too long after, Meeks' father started Delaware Elevator in Salisbury in 1946. What started out as about 40 employees is now 250 employees. And today, they have a new employee, Meeks. So what are we going to be doing today? Uh, today we're going to be doing a little tour of, I guess, our main facility here, uh, also our manufacturing, and uh, just talking about some of the different departments and what we do uh, in order to uh, service our customers and take care of our employees. I've obviously been in an elevator before, but I don't think you really think twice when you get in and just push a button. You don't know how mm -hmm. it works, so mm -hmm. I'm excited to kind of see, you know, get behind the scenes and see how these things work. I'm really looking forward to showing you that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so I guess we should get started. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's go. First, we headed to the offices to learn about the company's elevator plans, which are laid out on computer programs. Okay, awesome. So what is all of this? <laughs> this looks confusing. <laughs> What we do here in engineering is we work with consultants, engineers, architects on specific jobs. Once it's gone through sales and their estimating department, we receive it and then we generate drawings uh, specific to the project. I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. That's so confusing. That's okay. <laughs> engineering coordinator and project manager Bill Green says all plans are different, but some that they work on can take years. Next. We headed over to the company's training center to get a close-up look at one of their actual elevators. David Smart, director of Delaware Elevator, says before you start building, there's extensive training that has to come first. Just to get someone from an apprentice level to a mechanic takes four years. Wow, okay, well, I don't have four years experience. I have about 30 minutes experience so far. We'll pretend you have four. Next, we had to get on top of the elevator so we could get a closer look at all the parts. But safety first. Be wow. careful with your step here to step on okay. to the elevator. There's a lot going on here. This is I can say this is like the first time I've ever stood on top of an elevator. Pretty neat. Normally pretty you're neat. inside the elevator, but we're on top of it. Next, we headed to the building where all the parts are made. Waltz Mikulski is the general manager of the manufacturing in the building. We make everything that's behind that box you ride in, that button that you press, and the doors that you walk through. So we make everything that makes it go up and down. There's lots of different ways to do that. There's cables or hydraulic pistons. We do both here. First, I was given a pair of gloves to make sure I didn't get my hands dirty. And then it was time to work. Our first task, putting a muffler inside a machine. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> Right inside that hole. Oh, oh, come on up a little bit. Shove it right on in there. Okay. Come tap it down. Just tap it down just a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I see what you have to do. We're gonna come on this side. We're gonna get our 80-80 impact. Oh no, another. Oh Make sure no, it's forward. I'm so scared of these tools. All right. Put it right on that that nut there. On the top. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do it evenly. We're gonna do a little bit on the top and a little bit on the bottom. And we're okay. gonna get this nice and snug. Okay. Go ahead. I don't wanna hurt your hands. You're not gonna hurt me. Finally, it was done. So I put a part together for an elevator? Today you did. Okay. That's cool. That's really cool. Next, it was time to practice my welding skills. The idea is to weld two pieces of metal together by making small circles with the machine. I'm so scared and terrified. It's not gonna... So I decided to watch first, and my first go wasn't very successful. I'm terrible! <laughs> I started to get the hang of it, but my welding didn't quite compare to my partner's. Oh, oh my god, it looks like a mess! <laughs> I tried. Oh my gosh, I don't know how you do it. It's hard! 
I think we'll let the professionals stick to doing that. So today we kind of went behind the scenes to see what goes into kind of creating the elevator and what goes into making the elevator. But next week we're actually going to go on site to install an elevator, right? That's correct. We're going to test your skills beyond the welding that you did uh -oh. today. You did a great oh, job. Great job. Okay. Great job. You want a job? I do. We'll start here next week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You just well, lost I'm coming it. back, right? Yes, you are. All right. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Michelle McConaughey, 47 ABC. And as she mentioned, Michelle will be working with Delaware Elevator again next week on site in Ocean City. Uh, to where a few are being stalled, elevators that is, in a new hotel. So be sure to tune in for that. And if you would like to be featured in one of our on-the-job reports, make sure you head to our website, 47abc.com, where we have information on how you can submit your idea. Very cool stuff.